Okay, so welcome to the next Brow Edit tutorial number, I guess we're on 14 now. This will be very quick. All I'm going to show you is how to make slopes properly. And this is actually uh, based upon a request, so this tutorial itself was only made because someone asked me to make it. So in the future, if anybody would like me to uh, show you how to do something, let me know and I'll make a new tutorial video out of it. So this is the final product right here, what it looks like. This is your slope, and I'm going to show you how to make that. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is to go to Global Height Edit. We need to make some stairs. So it doesn't really matter, but we're just going to start it. Uh, we're going to start it right here. So raise it up three units or three page ups. You can make it as high as you want. The higher the page ups, the more steeper the slope is going to get. So I'm just going to keep highlighting an area, releasing the left left uh, click mouse button, and then pressing page up to raise to raise this terrain. And how high? Uh, it doesn't matter how how high we make this. It's just the thing. Okay. All right. So the next thing you know you notice is that we have some stairs. Okay. So after that, go to Detailed Terrain Edit. Select the four by four radius. Uh, block you could see and then in the center of this just click F so that your red uh, radius is targeting the bottom of this map and then also on the staircase so just click F in the center like so and also do it for the edges like this so the staircase is only going to be is only going to be comprised of our texture currently on there so once you get something like this you know you're you're doing good you're doing well so the next thing to do is to select a one by one cell radius with the uh, detailed terrain edit. I think, it, yeah. And then just over the over the slightly bent, messed up sides, which is going to be gone. Hold Control, left Control, right Control, whatever you want. Hold the right uh, mouse button and the left mouse button, and you'll notice that it, everything flattens out back to normal on these particular cells. Make sure you do it for the ground here too and for every single one. You'll notice that the raising and lower speeds can also be adjusted. If you go to edit, slow, uh, raise lower speed, the lower the number, the lower the number, the faster it'll raise or lower. The higher the number, the slower it will raise or lower. So do what I'm doing here and just holding left, right, left mouse button and right mouse button click plus control uh, to lower these back to normal. So it flattens everything back to, back to the ground. After that, just hold right mouse button a right click mouse button and then left click mouse button to lower these back to normal or you could use global height edit which is actually the same thing just using page ups and page downs and I'll just raise these all back to the ground so you'll notice that I finished one side now let's finish the other side okay so I just finished the right side of this and if you see something like this now you should be on the same page as me <coughs> about that. Next thing to do is to create your walls on these things. So I'm just going to select any texture like this, F4 to switch to wall mode, and then just make the walls on the side here. You'll notice that there are some really random stuff appearing. That's because of the light maps. I have to recalculate it since I'm restarting this thing. Okay, almost done. Recalculate my light maps. And there we go. Slope is done. So it's really easy to make a slope, and if you wanted to, you can actually copy and paste this to create more slopes. So using Global Height Edit, instead of doing the long way and just remaking more slopes, Control C, OK, and paste. And there you go. You got two slopes, and you can make as many as you want from this. You can actually, you cannot turn these, of course. Copy and paste only paste it exactly the way you you made it. And then another request upon uh, uh, this actual tutorial was to make slopes on the corner of a map. It's the same same thing. It's no different. Just use the F mod, meaning you click F, line that up, just like this. And the sides. Now notice that the sides are not going to work, but to to go around that. Actually, wait, hold on a second. There we go. You had I'd use F two. That's why. Not two. The radius had to be two because it the f the the four by four radius was going outside the map. That's why. So just 
click in F4 there. Now to fix that, obviously the sides need to be fixed. The same thing, control left click, do your thing, flatten everything out. Make sure that these don't go outside the map. Just like this. And you'll notice that we have a perfect slope on the edge of the map. Now what if we wanted to, uh, let me just go back one, make a slope right on the side here. So it's it's still sloped. Um, instead, of, instead of having these flattened out, how do you make it sloped on the side? You can try the copy paste method and see if that fits. Actually, I'll try that in a second if I can just finish off of this here. So I'm just going to do that. And then finish the sides. And then fix this too. And now I'm just going to apply my wall. Come on, there we go. Who cares what I'm doing with respect to texturing? It's just the purpose of the map itself and the context of what I'm trying to show you. All right, so that's that. Obviously, you would not want to put a wall here because it's going outside the map and you're just going to create more problems. So let's try this copy paste thing. Oh, God, I missed something here. I'm just flattening those. I know the ramp is off by a bit, but that's okay. I'm just going to copy paste this. So I'm going to copy and paste just this portion here. So copy paste and right on the side. And there you have it. Your slope, or your, um, your yeah, your slope is now perfectly on the edge of the map. I'm not too fond of this texture here, though. I don't know what's going to happen. You might want to remove this. If not, if you keep it, it actually looks like it might be okay. Yeah, but anyways, that's how you put a slope on the side of the map using the copy paste method. It's the easiest way to do it. Just build a slope, copy it, paste it on the side, and you got a perfect slope. And that's how you do slopes. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy, and good luck with that. Alright, take care, guys, and have a great day.